shit myself about all this. What, what are you shitting yourself about? Oh, yeah, tell cameraman and the fans what you're shitting yourself about. It's just all about to happen, isn't it? It's quite a big move, isn't it? It's quite a big move. I don't think it'd be quite as big as a move if the, if the van weren't making a horrendous knocking noise from the front left. But we'll yeah. worry about that when we get to Romania. Yeah. You're whittling on about that now. You're getting on my tits about that now. You're making me quite scared. To the camera. Oh, like cutting you camera. Oh, yeah. Bonjour. Showing off now. Oh, that was easy. This is the problem one, isn't it? Yeah. They don't look too happy here. Afternoon. Hello. Romania. Filming a documentary. For me, a long time, him two weeks. My bed and my fridge. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Good crap, man. We've got a shaky Stevens on the go. Yeah, no, no bueno. A bit twitchy, a bit ADHD, anxiety attack. Mm, it's all going off. If we have to use the potty, something's gone wrong. <laughs> Bad, We're going to have to potty train you for this van. Yeah, no Black Forest Gatos in this van, are there? You need a number two, you go outside. Respect. Get the shovel and go outside. Respect. You reckon this? We're getting a magazine. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. We're here. Made it. 15 minutes to spare for our last check in. Right on time. No worries. Yeah. See you on the ferry. Where are we at then? Currently entering the channel. I think I swam this twice bareback. <laughs> I thought you said you went over on a pedalo. This is it, we're doing it. Sorry, boss. So we're, we're one way ticketing over to Dunkirk. What day is it? 13th. It's Thursday the 13th. Looking for some. <laughs> Get that shot, cameraman. Yeah. Lucky for some. One way ticket. Film Explorers van life starts now. Righto, oh, no, we're on cameraman's camera. Will Explorers is just parking us up in P1. He says this is the best spot. Last night we slept there. He snored all night. He's a terrible snorer, Willie Mang. Morning, everyone. How are we doing? This morning's plan we're going to head into Luxembourg. Not the country, the city, because Luxembourg City is the capital of Luxembourg. All public transport is free, so we're making the most out of that. I'm going to get the bus in. I'm going to show the cameraman the most beautiful balcony in Europe. We'll see you there. Yeah. How's it going everyone? So we've, we're in Hungary, made it to Hungary, we just snuck into the basement of a big wellness spa. Me and Alex with covert ops in it. Say hello cameraman. It's a serious place this is. Indoor pool, outdoor pool, sauna, oh, steam room, feet, feet. feet cleaning pool. Oh, lovely. Report back later. Right, so we're in Kesmet. Now, it's eight o'clock. We didn't think any shops were open, couldn't find any on Google Maps, driving along this road. See this big old place. <laughs> this has to be probably the biggest shop we've ever been in, me and cameraman. Let's have a little look. So you've got, over here you've got sauna. You can buy a little sauna, infrared, fridge freezer. Cool down in the fridge. fancy. Iron, clothes, swimwear. We've spotted over in the corner. Go on, let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's spot it in the corner. Oh, yeah. Nice little toasty maker. Oh, lovely. Oh, phones. What else do you want? What else do you want? Do this, bit of that. Camping stuff. Oh, how serious this is. This is like Ikea shag go outdoors and quick fits popped out. Yes. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Straps. Look at this. Do your weekly shop. Grab yourself a bit of rubber. 
Light bulbs. All right, who thinks I should buy when he explores a little? Who thinks I should buy him a little Prezi? From cameraman, from cameraman to Willie explores. We, funny enough, we were actually talking about this the other day, and here it is. How does this work? I'm going to set a GoFundMe page. Set a GoFundMe page and the fans are going to pay for that for you. What do you reckon? Then for a week I was with friends and family filming Red Bull Romaniac, watching bike racing. And then after that, solo van life started. If you're new here, I'm Willem. I live in my van and this is me going up a stupidly crazy road to climb the second highest mountain in Romania. We're beginning the hike. We've got a few kilometers just to get to the trail point because I'll put it this way, last night, I managed to bottom out my van in the thunderstorm, scared the life out of me. So I'm not doing that again today. Part down the bottom of the valley. I'm gonna hike the rest up myself. I was about to have a little wild poo, but I haven't seen anyone in like 12 hours. Quite typically a German couple walk past as I'm literally about to drop my kegs. The mountain we're going up is called Varful Nagoyu. As some of you may or may not know, but I tore my Achilles in January. So this is only the third hike I've done all year. Fitness isn't there, so I'm just gonna take it easy today. See how I go. Today's trail is 8K out, 8K back, 1500 meters of elevation. It's rated as a hard alpine trail, so pretty tricky one to get my teeth into. I'm looking forward to it. I've got my fucking sunglasses. I'm not going back for them now. We're at our first stop, Cabana de Goyu. It's a massive alpine hut, 1600 meters. It's completely empty. Probably fit a few hundred people in there. The hut I've just come from. Now inside the valley, next job is head for the saddle, up into the clouds, and then the final little scramble to the summit. Still got about 800 meters of elevation to go. I'm all alone in this valley, surrounded by peaks and waterfalls, and clouds. Now, there's a bit of a technical scramble straight up the side of the mountain. This should be fun. We're now into the cloud. Probably only be here for a bit, but good job the trail is very well marked with these blue points. So we can just follow them. I'm still in the river, hiking up a stream, about 2,000 meters of elevation, 500 to go. Probably not much more than a kilometre in distance, but extremely steep. Whew. I've made it onto the plateau above the clouds, and then I'm pretty sure that might be where we're going. Fifty. Just been through the saddle, 100 meters more. And now I've got all the wind and the snow, not snow, cloud coming up on the other side, on the southeast. We're excited about getting any views, but let's go 20 more minutes. Just over to a load of stragglers who are now following me. I hope they don't think I know where I'm going. Here we are at the top of our full. Standard Balkan mountain, but the cloud keeps clearing up a little bit. Some sort of views, but it's crazy. So I was alone all day, then pretty much at the summit. Just had like 10, 20 people, which is really strange, but I've got to make my way down now, down to the bottom. 10 kilometers to go. It took us five hours up, so I'm expecting three hours down. So it should be down about five. Let's go. It's got some amazing drone shots. It's just completely clear. 
in the valley for the descent. So you can see all of the Thagard Ash Mountains. It's amazing. Just realized what that loud bang was last night. Might not be able to see it, but I might have nearly took my solar panel off. Not ideal this, but it's pretty pretty good. I'm gonna give it a go, see what happens. An hour later, I fixed the sunroof. I mean I fixed the solar panel. Let's go see if it stays on. I need another long reach extension to grip the other side and tighten it up but it's good enough for driving now in hindsight it's probably one of the fucking most stupid things i've ever done now i'm gonna navigate down the road by the time i get back to Cebu, it'll be about eight o'clock nine o'clock so the shops will be shut so i'll have to wait until tomorrow to get a a gun to put some sealant in the big hole in now in my roof but luckily it's just pulled out the uni strip where the hole originally was so sealing up the hole should do the trick just gonna make sure I don't put any more holes in it driving down this stupid road it's like fucking exploring a jungle definitely the stupidest thing I've ever done basically just rolling the whole van down the hill in first gear because you don't really want to bin it off the side. So I'm back at the van. I've just had like two absolutely pointless days. I need to figure out how I'm going to earn some money. I need to figure out where I'm going to go. But this feels awful. So I'm going to have a little sandwich now. See how I feel. Maybe even go to the swimming baths. And then need to come up with a plan. I just need to get out of this city. Start making a move. Right, I'm gonna go do some van admin, empty the water, fill up my water tank, and then start making our way out of Romania. So that's two places tried. One didn't have water, one was under construction. So we're just gonna head west to the border, see what we find. Hopefully manage to get some water. Just gonna have a quick nap on this service station. Completely knackered. I'm gonna buy a fucking ice cream, my throat is so bad. Good morning, slightly better today, but still shit. Um, it's 31 degrees though, and I'm melting. So I slept for 12 hours. I have a quick look at the spot that I'm at. I'll throw up a little video now. So now we're just gonna make our way west, get out of Romania today, and um, head towards Austria. It's about a 10 hour drive. Not really feeling like doing that today, so I'll just try and break it up into two drives and then figure out what I'm going to do from there. So let's go. So the plan is, well, it's currently 41 degrees, I'm sweating my tits off. I'm going to head over to Austria, just about nine hours, and go jump in some lakes, get my paddle board out, use that for the first time, and just recover for a few weeks. I'm going to try and skip the queue like these people are. I don't really know what's happening there, but I'm going to join them. And we made it into Hungary. So that's going to be the end of this short video. Join me next time when you find out what I'm going to get up to. Because at the minute, I don't even know myself. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace.